So I figured, you know, this would be a good time to dig into some API stuff. So we're going to use the Google um, Distance Matrix API. And I already went ahead and made a key. Um, if you're signed into a Google account, you click get a key. I have a credit card set up here for things. I don't know if it's going to force you to do it, but it's really easy. You're just going to get a key. Um, basically, you get duration and distance between points. Uh, I have no idea how this works yet, so let's try to figure it out together. Uh, we have latitude and longitude, right? So remember that file? These lat long points? Exactly. So we have lat and we have long. All right, so we're going to have to figure out how to get that into a workable format. Uh, but one thing I did want to show you is with this uh, these value counts, right? So these are the sum of the differences of the pings so if we just can I do that no if we just call it sum we'll have 2951 which uh, is how long it took me I don't like how it rounded up one second but I'll let it go so that's just another uh, <laughs> method you can call on a panda series um, so let's think about the library we're going to use to uh, to work with this. So we I found this called Google Maps Services Python uh, pip install Google Maps. Right, it it should work. So just pip install Google Maps. It took a second or two to install. I think it'll work out just fine for you. Um, so let's see if we can find an example of the. Uh, distance or time between so distance matrix test and a lot of times as they recommend if you want to look at how to use code you can look at their test cases so distance test matrix uh, mm, set up right test all params Responses get distance matrix. Hmm. Let's just try calling it with a, a lat long pair and see what happens. So let's just take a basic example that they have. We need to authenticate here. Make sure that works, right? So I'll just pop that in here. Gmaps key equals maps key. Google Maps is not defined because we have to import it. All right, we're going to do some dictionary stuff later, but just leave that blank. Now we wanted to do GMAPS directions. Okay, let's let's try it. Well, actually, let's see if we can figure this out. Gmaps. Distance matrix. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can just pull up the signature here. A lot of times when you're Python REPL, if you call help, um, it will, you know, pull up some some helpful information here. So distance matrix args and quarks, positional arguments, keyword arguments, um, param origins, one or more locations or latitude longitude values from which to calculate distance and time. One or more address. Um, okay. So let's just try things, right? Um, Gmaps distance matrix and maybe what is it? Let's just find some lat long, right? Let's go back to our Garmin file and just take some pairs. Um, here's one. And this is probably going to be totally like it doesn't understand what long is going to be, right? That doesn't make any freaking sense. But um, 
let's see if we can figure it out. If I pass it, let me just get rid of a function call for a second. All right, I'm going to say that's a, a lot long pair. And let's get another one and go to the bottom. Instead of copying the string, I'll just go back and forth. Get the neighboring point here, negative 104. And I don't know if this is the right signature. We're going to see. Interesting. All right. So it actually did something. This is very interesting. So. What it did was I used, uh, I guessed. Now, lat long, keep in mind, is um, it's, it's a point, right? It's a series of points, x, y. Now, points in Python oftentimes are represented with tuples, which are kind of immutable uh, objects that contain items. Uh, tuples are immutable, lists are immutable. If your data is not going to change, especially if you're going to be iterating over it or it's going to be close to other things that are changing. You might want to use duples. So this is great. Um, it's returning a, uh, what is it returning? Let's find out what it is. Let's call type on it. It's a dict. It returns a dictionary. And dictionary has things called keys. All right, so we have the, uh, we have keys in the dictionary. We have values. All right, but for now, let's just look at the raw dictionary. What are we going to want to get? We want the um, the rows, and we want the duration, and we want the text. So now you have to kind of play around and figure out like rows. You have to figure out. Uh, oh my Garmin GPS is telling me to move. Huh. Okay, so rows, um, now elements. Whoops. Sometimes you end up with a list, right? So it's the first, out. this is a list, right? It's got one thing in it. So zero. Okay. Now we're at another dictionary where I have a key called elements. And this just takes time looking at this stuff. Now I'm at a list again, I think. Um, so zero <laughs> now I'm at a dictionary again um, but I can actually access my uh, my distance and duration so mm, let's get the duration all right great so now we have yet another dictionary three minutes all right so that was actually interesting. I wonder what would happen, and I'm not going to do it because it would take a lot of fiddling, trial and error, but if we read in the lat longs for each point and we use the Google Maps distance matrix to give you an estimate of how long it would take to get there, and then you looked at the estimate of how long it actually took me to get there using this time since prior column. All right, so that's kind of interesting. If we wanted to turn this into a function, uh, we could. Maybe we will. Um, all right, that was kind of a neat little video of how you could use APIs uh, with Python in the Jupyter Notebook environment.